guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be kind of recreating one of Adrian Houghton's everyday makeup look routines and this is using drugstore products except for one because I couldn't find one of the products that I needed. But I'm really excited to show you guys because I watched it and I got like really inspired and I love that because it was a very different kind of drugstore makeup routine. She didn't use any foundation. She used really reasonable products and I was like, I want to recreate this. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial because it's really, it's really a cool one and I've never, I mean only once have I done a routine where I've used no foundation but it's kind of difficult to perfect so I'm going to do it with you guys and see what you guys think of it. Before we get started, if you guys like these types of videos, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, check out my Instagram that will be linked in the description box down below, and be sure to share this video with a friend who might like it. And say hello to my doggy. Say hi, Lily. Look at her, she's just like a natural on camera. She is a healer Border Collie Great Pyrenees mix, and she's only 40 pounds, but like, the only time that she's not super hyper is if she's being held. Like she's just sitting here like a baby right now. All right, so I'm using my own version of products that work for my kind of skin. So just to kind of take this and do what you want with it as far as it working for your skin. She didn't use any primer in the video, but I'm going to. This is actually a really good primer. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. I like it because I have oily skin, but lately it's been so dry and there's nothing I can really do. Like I try to moisturize and keep it up to date, but I still like to use charcoal masks because I'm getting married in like a week and a half and I don't want my skin to be broken out. So I'm going to use some of this mineral infused primer because it's very oily. Like it is such an oil based primer and it's gonna give my skin a little bit of what it needs right now. Look, it needs to be oily. Do you ever feel that like your skin just needs oil? I don't know, I've actually never, never really have because I have oily skin, so I've never had this, but it's been drying out, and I think it's also the weather. The weather's not been the best, so that's one thing. I have my awesome clear coffee mugs. I'm obsessed with these. I got them for my bridal shower. I got a couple packs of them, and I just think they're the cutest things ever. But going in, this is a product that she actually used. She used the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is in the shade cam or shade light. So I got the shade light. Like I said, she doesn't use any foundation, so we're just gonna go in and go for it and just see how this goes. I'm going to just put it underneath my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead. I'm gonna take a dampened beauty blender and just blend it in. So this is a product that she actually used. And it really did look, like her skin is flawless. I always try to recreate her makeup looks because whoever her makeup artist is I think it's her most of the time like I think she does most of her own makeup but if you guys have ever seen the real um she is on it and she was like a cheetah girl I'm not sure if I said her main name but her main name is Bylone so she was like one of the cheetah girls and I loved her from that like when I was a kid and now she's on the real and I found them on YouTube because I'm not home during the day enough to like watch daytime TV but I watch all of their clips on YouTube and I think that it's like one of the best daytime shows out there. So we blend, blend, blend until we feel that it's like blended enough. I know this looks kind of light. I've kind of been a little bit tanner than I have lately. So I'm just going to go with it because it's kind of light. But once we get all the bronzers and stuff in there, it'll give it a nice contour. I'm going to go in with my only non-drugstore product. And this is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. Um, this is $28. It's by Benefit. You can get it at Ulta Beauty. I use it because this is my kind of shade. It's a warm contour. It's not a cool contour. It looks really good. It's not hard to blend. It won't ruin your foundation. I've used it for probably a year and a half now. But she uses the Maybelline Fit Me Stick. The only reason why I'm not using that right now is because I went to three different places and it was sold out. So you just kind of have to use what you have. So if you can find a different drugstore contour stick that works for you, then I suggest doing that. But I'm just gonna go right in. Do you see how dark that looks? And when I have my foundation on, because my foundation is kind of dark, it does not look like that. And she's really funny in the video. She's like, okay, this is where I'm just gonna doodle all over my face. And I was like, wow, that's like the best way to put it. And then that's kind of it. I'm just gonna go there, there. 
and then we can see how this goes and then we'll sculpt out our chin. So I use the side of my beauty blender for this. It's so funny because the contour stick does really what it should. When I use such dark foundations that like do not match my skin tone at all, I feel like my contour stick doesn't give me the kind of contour that I want, but on no foundation, it just looks really good. So like I said, just use whatever drugstore contour stick you can find. There's all sorts. I'm pretty sure like every brand has their own version, which is really awesome because there's different options. You don't have to just go with what one brand has. She uses a foundation stick, the Maybelline Fit Me. So if you can find that near you, then definitely give it a try because I'm dying to try it. I'm loving about this right now to be perfectly honest and it's gonna take a little time to blend so just blend until you're like satisfied with how it looks but what I'm loving right now about this look getting that that contoured look because her face is always so dewy and it's so beautiful and I'm getting it without putting on foundation this I could totally do just put a little concealer put a little contour stick and like go like I'd be fine with just this but we're gonna keep going so I want to show you guys the look listen with the L'Oreal infallible pro glow liquid concealer I am not I'm gonna go in with the it's an age rewind if I can get any to come out in the areas that I went in with with the highlighter so I'm just going to it just gives like a little bit more coverage this is so fluffy and um I don't know what the word is. It's like moussey. Like it feels like mousse on your face. And this just brightens it up again because the contour can kind of make the highlighted areas disappear that you just worked so hard on. So she went in with a second concealer. So, okay, I'll do the same. What she said she was using the Maybelline Master Conceal for was to camouflage redness. And I do have a lot of redness as well. So I understand that. I've never used two concealers to uh, camouflage redness, but I'm willing to try it because she has when I tell you guys she has the most perfect contour and highlight every day on the reel I'm not kidding like it's insane of course I'm going to try and I would like to try some of the products that she used in the video I just couldn't find the Maybelline fit me and then I had all of this at home so why not use what I know works for my skin really well and then kind of try her her routine because everybody's skin is different and once you get to a certain age you know what works for you and what doesn't also below where she did the contour as well so she did a line underneath and a line underneath to kind of deepen that and you have to figure when you're in show business you learn from the best you learn from the pros so I'm sure that that makes a difference All right, so now that we have all that done, I am gonna go in with a drugstore setting powder. This I actually found at Walmart, and this is Drew Barrymore's line, and this is the um, Flower Beauty setting powder. So it looks like this. And then you take it, and you put a little in there, and this is the Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. And it's really good so I just use their little like it looks like just like a little puff it's cute because it gives you a little bit of a glow and I wanted to try it because I was like I want a glow even though I'm not really supposed to so I'm just setting the areas just a little bit where I put some highlight on because if you have a lot of concealer you definitely want to set it and while that's setting I'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer so just taking this to set the cream contour so I'm just taking a little powder and remember if you have no foundation on your products are gonna look a lot darker than if they you know had a foundation base so just remember that going with like a lighter hand and I'm gonna buff this off with a Real techniques buffing brush I've used this forever now I swear I've used it in every video. Mm -hmm. 
like loving this no foundation look. I cannot get over it. Like I usually look in this mirror and if you're doing things on camera, usually you use a heavier hand because the camera doesn't pick up makeup as well. So I'll like use a heavier foundation if I'm filming or something like that. Not not a foundation that I would normally use if I was like walking out into direct sunlight and you'll see every little imperfection. I've also noticed, and I know I'm only 24 years old, but I am getting smile lines that I've never had before in my life and I'm noticing it like in my makeup. And I used to hear people talk about it all the time and I was like, oh what? No, like I don't have that. And I don't know if it's just because I'm happier or what, but I have a ton of smile lines. So I'm experiencing that issue. I'm I'm experiencing like little wrinkles. I'm trying to be like really careful because I don't want that yet. The next she goes in with blush. She uses an e.l.f. blush. I use this blush on a daily basis no matter what. So I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Enchanted Paradise blush in the shade Just Curious. So I am going to just take my Bare Minerals brush and I'm just going to say that 18 times fast because I was having the hardest time. I'm just going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. I use like a peachy color all the time because that's just what looks good on me. I could use pink. I just feel like peach looks better. I like a softer blush, but I do like the look of having a little bit of color. I go in and I know I lost the cap to this and I um, hit pan, but this is my Physician's Formula Champagne Highlighter. It's the cream to powder. I saw Tati use it one time and I was obsessed with it and I went and bought it and I haven't used anything since. I used to use Champagne Pop on a daily basis and I still will for big events, like I'm going out, but this is my go-to. Like nothing gives me a highlight like this and I have every color. For highlight, she used the L'Oreal, it's like the infallible, I wanna say, glow kit. It's really pretty. I definitely want to try that one. I've seen it in Ulta a million times. I just always walk right by it because I'm like, you know what, I have enough highlighters. And it's crazy, but you know, you think that a lot of the stuff that you use is high end. No, half of my beauty routine, at least, if not more, is sort I use butter bronzer, butter highlighter, I use the L'Oreal blush. Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Looming Vixen Spray. I'd say the only things I really use that are high end are probably my foundations, my concealers, and my contour stick. That's it though. Oh, and my lipstick. I use high end lipstick too. On my eyes right now, I have the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is the waterproof version because that's what works better for me. I've used it for years now and I've tried high end and I just don't like it. The highlight all the way over here. And I forgot an important step that Adrienne did. I remember thinking was kind of unique. Now I've done this before. She took her, her bronzer into the crease of her eye, which I thought was really pretty because I've had days where I have skipped eyeshadow because I'm just going for a more natural look and I'll just focus on my skin and put some lashes on. I don't want to be bothered with the eyeshadow because it takes a lot of time. You want to be precise. If you put just the tiniest bit of color, whether it's just the bronzer that you're using, it makes such a difference. Like I feel like it opens your eyes up so much. So she took that bronzer and then she took it down her nose, which I thought was really cool because I've never done that. But I can see like the difference that it makes because you can more precisely set that cream contour on your nose with that than you could with any other brush. So using an eyeshadow brush definitely makes a difference. I go in with my Ulta eyeliner brush. I have like really dark shadow on it right now because I need to clean it. I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. And I'm just gonna give it just a little bit of color. Her eyeshadow brush and she also took blush into the eye so I thought that was really pretty too I've not I've actually never seen anybody do that she took her blush right into her eyeshadow and it does it creates like almost like a little sunsetty natural look because you have your either your pink or your coral color and then you have your bronze oh my god this is so pretty next I'm gonna go in with this NYX lip liner pencil and this is in the shade nude suede shoes I hope that's right and I'm going to just line my lips oh my god this is so pretty so this is very similar to the color she used she used a Rev Revlon liquid lipstick and it was a rose color it was really similar to this 
I feel like I could just wear a lip liner. Oh my god. Because I brought a liquid lipstick and it's super light and nude, but I don't even want to put it on because it's going to ruin this. And this is beautiful and I've had this in my vanity forever. Like it was still in its packaging when I went to go open it up for this video. And I had to unpackage it and I'm mad that I never used this because this is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this color. It's like the perfect nude and it makes your lips look so full. Now she topped it with a Revlon gloss that I don't have and I'm determined to find. So I, this is all that I have for recreating her look. Her face always looks so dewy and beautiful and this is just my version of kind of what works for my face using all of her steps and all of her different techniques because I watched it and I was like, I wanna try all these tips. So if you guys like this look, if this interested you at all, please give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to comment down below what you think of this look. Be sure to check out my Instagram that I'll have linked in the description box and be sure to share this with a friend who might find this interesting. I wanna thank you guys so so much for watching I have so many new videos coming for you guys because it's like like I said it's a week and a half to the wedding so I want to do some vlogs of like my preparations and everything that I'm gonna be doing so be sure to stay tuned for that because it's not gonna be like you know sappy wedding stuff I'm just gonna literally show you what I'm doing to get ready and you know what my days look like up until the wedding so be sure to stay tuned for that as well Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon again in my next video